Okay, good morning, good afternoon, CI 511. We are on week five. Um, the, the focus of this unit is on teachers as change agents um, and the development of a vision. So um, we have moved on from looking at uh, what is technology, how technology works in schools, um, how to design professional development that is effective and, and that works to bring about change to uh, where we are now in Unit 5, which is on um, elucidating, articulating, and being very clear about what your vision for the school, the district, the organization, the agency is. So in the first article um, called Teachers as Change Agents, um, Michael Fullen comes up with a number of strong points about how to develop vision, how to articulate and reflect on what your moral uh, purpose is, and to think about the strategies that you will um, uh, take or engage with um, in order to bring about the change that you want. Um, so there are four components of um, the kind of change that he's advocating for. One is vision building. Um, so Fullen expects you to look inside yourself to think about um, the kind of vision that you have for your learning space. The second uh, feature that he described as important is uh, the inquiry process. So only by persistent questioning, um, and that is the kind of questioning on what's important, the kind of questioning on whether something is working, uh, persistent questioning related to um, just all aspects of the learning process. Um, and as we form and reform our purpose, we will begin to um, have more of a comprehensive idea about uh, not only the kind of vision that we want, but the steps that are necessary in order to make that happen. Um, and, and so inquiry process is, is the second feature. Third is mastery. So full and rights of, um, ex of expanding a visionary process beyond just thoughts and ideas to actual behavioral change. So he suggests that there are certain behaviors that indicate uh, deeper understanding. And so we have to consider um, how our vision takes into account um, kind of professional mastery and next level understanding. Finally, the fourth component is collaboration. Um, and uh, this, is a, this is a huge factor. And what research from um, a number of other areas, including Google, has found that uh, collaboration is not something that is instinctively a, um, I don't know, something natural, but it must be learned. Um, and that there are a number of factors that support uh, high functioning teams and in, including pro-social norms um, that allow people to listen to each other, that allow people to be nice to each other. And um, this is a, is a concept called psychological safety and all the high functioning teams um, have it. Um, uh, also in the, the Fullen article, um, he um, has a number of key images for teacher education. Um, and so I want us to get in the mindset of literally imagining a, a kind of learning space that we want. So what do you envision? So close your eyes, think about the kind of learning space that you want. Um, and uh, this, this could be part of a larger school redesign project. Um, th this could be more of a feeling that you have, um, but really let yourself go, think big, um, think about the, the kinds of moral purposes and values that are important to you. The second article um, is called The Changing Role of the uh, Tech Director. And though, it, and though it's not as explicit as the uh, visioning process in Fullen, um, I think we can draw out a number of visionary themes. So Johnson writes um, about 
how he's beginning to shift from sort of a technological mindset to more of a systematic or process-minded mindset. And so he um, elucidates a number of uh, changes that he has made. But I think, um, I think all of them work to um, establish what he thinks is a vision for a tech director. So even though he doesn't explicitly use words like visioning or imagining, um, as he describes his changing roles and, and how um, his thinking is, is moving from narrow sort of tech focused um, jobs or roles to more expanded um, kind of in, instructional processes, he's doing things like he wants to create effective help policies. He wants to work with curricula planning leaders. He wants to support um, uh, a kind of increase in meaningful access. He wants to change from um, understanding how something works or helping students or other library users to go from um, understanding how something works to understanding why something works. Um, so all of these things represent a vision um, and we can see uh, kind of Johnson's moral purpose as he is explaining the changing demands of the tech director. Um, so I want you to use that as, as a metaphor for how you think about um, the development of your vision um, and how you think about clearly articulating what you think is important and the kind of learning space that you want, okay? Um, for this assignment, we will be actually creating a vision. Um, so the, the directions are there, they are pretty clear. Um, you're welcome to share your visioning statements with peers before you submit it. Um, and once again, we'll have another webinar, um, a Zoom webinar on October 18th, which is a week from yesterday, okay? Um, so that's 8 p.m. Um, look forward to getting your assignments for this week. I've graded, uh, I finished grading a few days ago, so go and check your grades. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Look forward to uh, seeing you at the end of December. Um, we'll have another face-to-face -face meeting, okay? Thank you, have a good day, bye.